It's safe to say these days you might call this a pressure cooker more than an airport. Delays, lines, COVID restrictions, lost bags, you name it. But did you know Charlotte Douglas has a group of airport allies there to inject some relief into the cacophony of confusion in the concourse? So while at one point we may look like we're misguided or lost, uh, the goal is exactly that, to be a presence. Reverend Carl Banks is an airport chaplain. Hello. All right, how you doing? Good, how are you? Making the rounds, feeling good. He's a beacon of goodwill and information. You'd have to Downstairs. take the stairs down okay. and that's arrival. With directions to your gate. To the left of that, you'll see Concourse C. Concourse and C. just keep going till you hit seven. And general guidance in life too. They'll ask if I have time to talk to them and listen. And uh, tell, they'll tell their story. The bus driver actually stopped the bus. She got off the bus chased me down, gave me a piece of paper and says, pray for these people. Reverend David Reiser leads the Charlotte Interfaith Airport Chaplaincy, and he says now more than ever, their presence is needed to support an ever-changing landscape of passengers. The businessmen used to come in, they know where they're going, they know what they're doing, they're headed that way, they're not going to stop. It's by the occasional passenger who is lost, who is unfamiliar, who has maybe never flown before, and the, the, the anxiety level is there. If you w keep walking back this way, look against the wall, you'll see the Delta sign. Okay, thank you. All right. For Reverend Banks, the opportunity to bring together a fellowship of people, passengers of all backgrounds, beliefs, and life stories, is what continues to fuel thank his you. love for lending a hand. Thank you. <laughs> Living his life with one mission. Is that I'm a chaplain for the people, for all people.